Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to make a real quick video on my Puppet Master Blu-ray collection. Uh, I'm eventually going to go through all these movies and re-watch them and do a review for each one. But right now I just wanted to show you each Blu-ray and show you the special features that you get on each one. Here's the first Puppet Master movie. Released in 1989 originally. And the special features you get are a special introduction by Charles Band, a promo for Puppet Master Axis of Evil, the No Strings Attached original making of from the first Puppet Master, and original trailers for the first 12 Full Moon features. And Puppet Master was the first Full Moon feature. Here is Puppet Master 2. And it was originally released in 1991. And this is the one that introduced Torch to the series. And the special features you get are special intro and audio commentary by Charles Band, original full length video zone, Killer Puppet Master montage, Full Moon Trailers, and a rare 1997 Puppet Master action figure commercial. This is my favorite Puppet Master movie, by the way. Here's Puppet Master 3. And it was also released in 1991, uh, several months after uh, Part 2. And this is the one that introduced Six Shooter to the series. The special features you get are special intro by Charles Band, audio commentary by David Dakota and C. Courtney Joyner, original full length video zone, Killer Puppet Master montage. Full Moon Trailers, and a rare 1997 Puppet Master action figure commercial. I think the action figure commercial on this Blu-ray is the same as the one that's on the Puppet Master 2 Blu-ray. Here's Puppet Master 4, and it was originally released in 1993. This is the one that introduced Decapitron into the series. Special features on this one are you get the video zone and the director's commentary by Jeff Burr. Puppet Master 5. It was originally released in 1994 and it was filmed along with Puppet Master 4. Special features here. Our director commentary uh, with Jeff Burr, and he has a special guest, Chris Endicott, on that commentary. Uh, one eye on the lens, one hand up the puppets, the making of Puppet Master 4 and 5, and Puppet Master 4 and 5, the archives. Curse of the Puppet Master. It was released in 1998. The special features are a director commentary, the original video zone, and full moon trailers.
Retro Puppet Master. It was originally released in 1999. And special features you get are a new director's commentary with director David Dakota and actor Greg Sestero, two hours of rare behind the scenes footage with the original director's commentary, original video zone and full moon trailers. Puppet Master The Legacy. This one's very interesting because most of the movie is footage from the other Puppet Master movies. Apparently they had to release another movie and they filmed some new footage and then used the other footage from the other movies as flashbacks. And this was released in 2003. Special features here are a first Puppet Master feature at No Strings Attached, the same feature that's on the first Puppet Master Blu ray, and Full Moon trailers. Now, the DVD release of this movie had the video zones for two through retro I think and had the uh, there's no strings attached for part one puppet master axis of evil the first of a trilogy and this was released in 2010. Special features, The Making of Evil, 13 vidcasts from China, No Strings Attached, original making of from the first Puppet Master. So we get that again. And it includes all nine Puppet Master original trailers. Puppet Master Axis Rising, the second in the Axis trilogy, released in 2012. And this one introduced uh, villain Nazi puppets that the puppets fight against. Special features here. First time in 20 years, the incredible video zone featurette. The Legacy and Axis of Evil did not have video zones, but this one does. This one the video zone came back for this one. Uh, the Killer Puppet Master montage, uncensored grindhouse preview, remastered full moon trailers. Puppet Master Axis Termination. This one was released in 2017. When they first released this, they had cut it into three pieces and released each part separately on the Full Moon streaming service and on Amazon, I believe. But that was, you know, before they actually released it on Blu-ray. Uh, special features, you get director spotlight Charles Band, Monster Craft Inside 1313 FX, Actor Spotlight Jean Louise O'Sullivan, Things Actors Say, On Set with the Indiegogo Contributors, and Full Moon Trailers.
Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. Uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe and I will be bringing more content as soon as I can. Have a good one.